this is the os coxa. Uh, we'll go first through the three different bones of the os coxa. So there's the ilium, which is going to be from here up. Then we have the ischium, which is going to be this part of the bone. And then we have the pubis, which will be this part. So first, for the landmarks of the ilium, we have the iliac crest, which is all of this. Then we have the iliac spine. So we have the anterior iliac, superior iliac spine. We have the anterior inferior iliac spine. Then we go to the posterior side of the ilium. So we have the posterior superior iliac spine. Then we have the posterior inferior iliac spine. Next, we have gluteal lines. So the gluteal lines will be here is the first one. This will be posterior gluteal line. Then we will have the anterior gluteal line or middle. It can be called middle or anterior gluteal line. Then we have the inferior gluteal line. Next, we have the greater sciatic notch, which is going to be this notch. Then we have the tubercle of the iliac crest. So we know this is the iliac crest, and when you look down on it, this projection out is going to be the tubercle. Tubercle of the iliac crest. Then we have the auricular surface, which is going to be right here. That's going to articulate with the uh, sacrum. Now we have the iliac tuberosity, which will be here above the auricular surface. And then we have the iliac fossa. For the ischium, we have the ischial tuberosity, which is this bump, roughy, rough surface. That's what you're going, your butt sits on. Then we have the ramus of the ischium. And we have the lesser sciatic notch and the spine of the ischium. For the pubis, we have the superior ramus, the inferior ramus, the pubis, then we have the body of the pubis, and then we have the pectineal line. It's right here, pectineal line. And now we have three other landmarks that don't belong to the three categories. So first we have the obturator foramen, which is whole. Then we have the acetabulum. And then we have the pubic symphysis, which will be right here. That's where the two oscoxa meet in the middle. So how we tell if this is right or left is first, um, we know that the femur, the head of the femur, is going to come into the acetabulum landmark. So, um, first we know that will orient us to be the lateral side of the os coxa. Then we know this is the pubis, right? And the pubic symphysis is going to come together and meet with the other os coxa. So that's going to have to be uh, medial. Um, so if we know those two things, um, then we know that, um, this is going to be on the lateral side. We know the pubic symphysis is going to come together and it's also going to be anterior. So that's how we know if it goes this way or this way. As well, the, the auricular surface of the ilium articulates with the auricular surface of the sacrum. So we have the sacrum, the femur, head of the femur goes here, and then the other oscoxa comes to me.